queued up. <coughs> so basically, we are calling one of our lender partners. We're going to call Nicole to discuss what they are actually telling us right. and, and what's actually happening in all actuality, right? Yeah, it seems like there's some miscommunication on what the clients are hearing or think they're hearing and versus, uh, compared to what the lender is actually telling us. Okay. So because... I'm just trying to get it straight. And the, and the buyers have been kind of all over the place, so... Okay. Because what I heard this morning is that they have a 640 credit score and Nicole is saying they have a 620. So we need to... And this other there's debt big, yeah. of between... Okay. There's a... $50,000 deficiency in what they're saying they have and what she says. Yeah, they think they have 20000 in debt and their uh, credit poll is showing like seventy grand in debt, so that's a, that's a big delta. Okay, let's see. Jake because he's the listing agent on the deal so yes. we just kind of wanted to find out because okay so what what is telling us is that um, they're saying they have a 640 credit score and that you promised you could get them up to 500,000 I for sure didn't I even told that they keep asking if it's a guarantee back to me and he said before they pay this off is this a guarantee and I said no I told the same thing okay. I said we still have to put it through our system and make sure and I the, the fact that they were so adamant, I knew, I honestly knew this was going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. I knew it was. Mm -hmm. So I made sure to let them know this is not a guarantee. And he's like, okay, so if their credit score gets gets up, what will they get approved for? And I said, I will not know. I don't even know if I can get an approval on conventional. Mm -hmm. Like, this has been a thing from the get-go. Okay. Yeah. They And I, Jake and I both thought that they seem a little bit odd and that they want to talk to so much because he's newer. Um, okay, so the other thing that was kind of like a really weird situation is they're telling Patrick that they only have 20000 in credit card debt, but apparently you pulled up to 70000 in credit card debt? Yeah. And they owed, so I, I pulled it up, they owed 200, their mortgage payoff is 241 Okay, so if you guys listen. They have $251,000 in debt total, but a hundred and something of that is cars. Wait, you said they're three fifty in debt total. Uh, two fifty. Oh. But the mortgage payoff is two forty one. So they're only nine thousand in debt. I'm confused. Then. No, there are other no, bills no, too. No, 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 that's two different things. Oh, right. okay. Oh, oh, I got you. So mortgage at two forty, and then gross debt. So it's really like what's that five? No, that's on top of it. Yeah. So yeah. after oh, fees, right, right, right. what are they even going to have left? Well, we listed that's it. That's what I'm wondering. Three hundred, so that's eighteen thousand off, twenty thousand with escrow fees, so two eighty. So they, they would net around forty or so on the sale. Forty, okay, because uh, we were we were talking like one eighty, and that's so that was another thing that I was like, okay, well we can pay off some of these debts to get their debts income in line to look at a, a, a conventional approval. Mm -hmm. So his score came above six forty. Hers is still just under, but it's close. But, and, and I was just trying to get them above 620 to see if we could get a conventional approval. Yeah. And I, I made sure everyone knew. It's my fault for, I even had the gut feeling I knew it was going to be an issue. I should have put it in an email. In fact, I did somewhere, I think, that said it's still, it's definitely not a guarantee. We believe that you did. They, totally. They They've been all over shady. the map, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so is there, going forward, is there any plan that... It sounds like at this point they want to talk to someone else. So I said they maybe should. Thomas. No, I mean in your within your oh. office. Is there anybody who can put them on a plan where they could get up to that five hundred, or should we have them talk to somebody else because they're shady? Let me let me see who wants to, Let me see who has some time to take it because it is going to be a little bit work intensive. Okay. And then I'll just make sure that they put like that whoever takes it over knows for a fact that put everything in writing. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Because they're blaming everybody yeah. except themselves. Right, yes. right. Well, and, and typically, sometimes that'll happen when someone's, like, embarrassed, but I don't get that from them. No, he's pretty... Because, like, they, they straight up told me, oh, we, we only have two cars and one of them's not ours. Well, I pulled credit. No, you have three cars. And they, they, he originally told me that they could get proof that someone else pays one of the cars. 
Right. Yeah, so what that is is... actually three and they can't. Yeah, they had uh, financed a car for one of their nephews or something like that. And so he was telling me, he's like, well, they pay it. I'm like, well, yeah, but... This is when I first even met them. I was like, well, that's, it's on your credit. It's under your name. So. Well, no, and I, I went over that with them because we can show 12 months proof that someone else has made it if it's a joint debt and we can get, we can omit it. But they have two other cars that are way higher payments. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's been a little bit of, they didn't want me to pull credit at first. So I was going off of the debts they told me and that ended up not being the case. So I was just, I was a liar at every corner because I was given the wrong information. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me see who who wants to take it over on my team, <laughs> and I will let you guys know. Hey, who wants the Titanic? All right, and we'll we'll chat with them too, Nicole, to see if because like I said, they're they're kind of all over, hot and cold, and happy, sad, and likes and don't likes, you know, every other day. So we don't want you guys to spin your wheels in the mud. Where if, if they're just like, no, we want to speak to a different lender altogether, then I don't want you guys to get all ramped up and. and you know, trying to bash your yeah. heads against the wall. We, the only reason I would really like to retain it is because we spent so much money on the rescore. Yeah, mm -hmm. I gotcha. Okay. But, I mean, other than that, it, I, kids, honestly, right? getting a second opinion probably True. won't. I think it'll help validate it. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks for your time, Nicole. Sorry, guys. No, don't be sorry. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Don't lie to the lender. <laughs>